So therefore, the mass, even though it was uh, obligatory on the Jewish people, the 30,000 workers were volunteers. They were people who came to, uh, to work on their own. So those are the... That, that's the, those are the ones. Those are the ones that are mentioned. Now the Ralbag mentions here of Leib Eden Gershon mentions a an obscure medrash that the thirty thousand men who were all converts. They were all gayrim. Those who built the base of Midrash were gayrim. And he also mentions that they probably were not Geirei Tzedek, but Geirim Toshavim. Geirim Toshavim means non-Jews who did not adopt the ways of Judaism, but who forsook the ways of paganism, and who had a right to live in the land of Israel, who were citizens of the country, but they were uh, not Jews. And that the 30, therefore these 30,000 men, the Rabban says, were not Jewish. They were Gerim Toshavim. Where his tradition is, I, it's, it's hard to... Uh, he says that it's in the book of Divrei Ayomim. It's hard to know. But in any event, we do know that there were 153,600 Gerim at the time of Shlomo. That count is given to us. Our rabbis say at the time of Shlomo, there was such an influx of Jews through conversion that they have to stop taking. He, he didn't allow anybody to become a gear anymore. The Talmud says at the time of the Mashiach also, there'll be a tremendous influx, right? It will be the in thing to be Jewish. And just as today, there's less than the in thing. So then it will be the in thing to be Jewish. So then also, when it becomes the in thing to be Jewish, so then we shut the doors. Then we're not interested in gear. But when it's not the in thing, so then the, uh, there's a certain sincerity that's obviously present. Otherwise, why would the person, why would he or she be interested in becoming a convert? So out of this 153,600 number of gayry, uh, the uh, were taken this group of 30,000 workers who worked uh, to, to bring the Beit HaMikdash to its uh, conclusion. The influx of Gairim within the Jewish people is one of the great historic phenomena. There were numerous waves of converts who came into Judaism and uh, who to a certain extent supply Judaism with a, the Jewish people rather, with a, uh, with a variety and a vitality and a, and a new start. And here at the time of Shlomo was the first, that the, when the Jewish people went out of Egypt, there was a large, there were a large number of gay, and the Abraham went out with them. Then when the Jewish people came to the land of Canaan, it diminished. There, the, uh, the trend of assimilation went the other way. The Jews became Goyim, they became pagans. Now, at the time of David and Shlomo, with the building of the Beis Amigdash and the strengthening of the Jewish position, so then just the opposite happens. A large number of Goyim become Jews. Then, at the time of the Churban bias, there was, again, a diminishing. Jews ran away. When Ezra came back, a lot of Gerim came with him. A lot of Goyim became Gerim because it was a new start. It was like, the, you know, the, the frontier, the West. So a lot of people came with, with various degrees of success. At the time of the Roman Empire, there was an enormous uh, movement of Gerim. Such an enormous movement of the Gerim that the Roman emperors were sorely frightened of the Jews and of the influence of Judaism and fought it openly. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they passed rules against converting, that, that he who converted and forfeited the uh, forfeited at the minimum his citizenship in the Roman Empire and sometimes even forfeited his life. And uh, 
some of the greatest men in Jewish history in that period are descended from Geirin. Shmaya and Avtalia and Rebmeyer and Be'akiva, Unkelis, those are all Geirin. What? No, because, the, because Judaism held an attraction simply because of the fact that the Roman Empire then had become so decadent and paganism obviously so wrong. The people looked for an answer. Judaism provided an answer. There's no question that if Judaism would have, uh, which is an impossibility naturally, but if there would have been a dispensation for circumcision, then maybe a third of the Roman Empire would have become Jewish. But because of the requirement of circumcision, especially in an adult, and uh, everything that went with it, so uh, the, the, so that was the self-limiting factor. When the, the Christians caught on to that, Paul caught on to that, and he weighed everything. He weighed circumcision and Shabbos and Kashas and everything, and he hit the jackpot. The whole Roman Empire converted. But the, the wave of conversions to Christianity uh, was a byproduct to a certain extent of the previous early conversions to Judaism. The previous wave, which was uh, conversions to Judaism. Then in, in our time, there have been very little, uh, the, again, the stream is one way. Against, uh, the stream is uh, the Jews go out, unfortunately. But, very, but, but here you're talking about a time when there was an enormous amount of Gerim, and the Gerim made a great contribution. Vayishlachem levononah. 